This video is to just give you some extra help on understanding how to calculate BAC, otherwise known as blood alcohol concentration or blood alcohol content. So when we talk about blood alcohol content, we're literally talking about how much blood, I'm sorry, how much alcohol is in the blood. And we usually have some type of decimal number. So for example, a BAC content of 0.1 means that there is one drop of alcohol in a thousand drops of blood, if you think of it like that. And so uh, to determine BAC, there's lots of different ways we can do it. There's lots of different calculations out there. But the idea is that there's a lot of variables that go into understanding BAC. Uh, gender is probably one of the biggest. Also, how big the person is, how much they weigh, how much time they actually consumed the alcohol and then the actual percent of the alcohol, meaning a beer would be a little bit different than a glass of wine or an actual drink with liquor in it. So if we take a look at the information on your worksheet, um, in this top chart, we actually have various blood alcohol content numbers, and then we're looking at what the person is going to look like, appear, their behavior, how it's going to change as a result of the increase. I did want to draw your attention to this number right here, 0 0.08, because this is um, the legal level of intoxication in most states. If you are 21 and older, if you are less than 21, they actually say that your uh, level of intoxication, and this is associated with driving, needs to be at a 0 0.01 or less. So obviously there's a big difference. I don't even have 0 0.01 on the chart. So there's a couple different ways that you're going to be looking at blood alcohol content in this worksheet. Um, the first two questions, uh, when you scroll to the next page, are going to be dealing with this chart. So this chart has actually already done lots of calculations for you. Um, and what we're looking at here is the body weight of an individual versus how many drinks they have consumed. So let's say we have someone who weighs 140 pounds and they have consumed five drinks. So they would have a BAC of 0.17. But let's say they've actually consumed those five drinks over a period of five hours. And down here you can see that when we calculate the BAC, if we're using the chart, we come up with our initial number so that's 140 pounds, and they had five drinks, but we're also adding they had it over a period of time, of five hours. And so for every hour that they had the drinks, we actually are going to subtract 0 0.015. So here you could do this a couple different ways. Um, you could take 0 0.015 and multiply it by your five hours. And if I use my calculator over here, that is 0 0.075, and so I could subtract that, or obviously you could take 0.17 and subtract 0 0.015 five times, okay? So let's take a look. Um, if we have this is what we're going to reduce their BAC by for those five hours, then they now have a legal limit of 0.1525. So they're definitely still up there in this case, um, but it might be a big difference in their ability to function the next day. So that's how you incorporate time. And so you're gonna do that for the first couple of questions um, as you scroll through this worksheet. I'll kind of show you that here. So, oops, like I said, um, here is a situation you're going to read about this young lady and her weight, and so you'll use the chart, and you'll see that she began drinking at 9 p.m., but she finished at midnight. So you would want to take that into consideration as you calculate her BAC, and the same thing down here with this second scenario. But then at the bottom, we have some even trickier questions. In these questions down here, um, we're using a slightly different formula. And this formula is almost working backwards, where if we know the blood alcohol content and how heavy the person is, we can get an idea of how much um, alcohol they actually consumed. And you can see this is different for males and females. 
Um, a couple of helpful hints, and I'll even work through a couple problems with you. Um, this is a percentage, but you do not need to change it into a decimal. You can actually leave it at 0 0.02 because that's already into consideration in our um, unit. So that percent we could actually say is grams per DL, which is deciliter. All right. So for example, this first one, we have a 150 pound male. So we're going to use this formula down here who has a blood alcohol content of 0 0.02. So we want to know how much alcohol did they actually consume. So the volume um, of alcohol would equal their weight, which is 150 pounds, multiplied by their BAC. And again, you do not need to change that. You can leave it as that percentage. And then you're going to divide that by our, this is just a standard unit for males, 3.78. And that will then tell you in ounces how many ounces that individual consumed to get to that blood alcohol content. And that's a pretty low content. You can do the same thing here at number nine. Um, but then number 10 is asking you to take this two steps further, really, because um, in many cases, people who consume alcohol are not consuming 100% alcohol all the time. It is a percent of alcohol in their drink. So if we look at something like a beer, for example, a 12 ounce beer is about 5% alcohol. So in that case, uh, when we're really looking at the volume of the alcohol, it's not 12 ounces of alcohol, it's only 5% of those 12 ounces. So in this situation, they're talking about a male who has had four beers. So if you think about it like that, 12 times four means they had 48 ounces, but they only had 5% of that. So you would multiply that by 0 0.05 to actually figure out how many ounces of beer I'm sorry, how many ounces of alcohol they had. Um, and that would be 2.4 ounces. And this particular question is wanting you to work backwards to actually solve for the BAC, which is in here in the question. And so if you don't feel comfortable with math, that's okay. Let's actually take a look at what that would be. So um, the equation is the volume of alcohol is their weight times the BAC, which is what we're looking for, divided by 3.78. So let's fill in what we know. We know 2.4 ounces for the volume. We know that his weight is 160. We want to solve for the BAC. So I'm going to put my variable X in there. And then that's going to be divided by 3.78. In a situation like this, all you have to do is put this over the value of 1 and then just simply cross multiply. And that will solve for your X, which is BAC. And again, you don't need to do anything to the number. Once you get that number, that is actually the BAC percentage. Hopefully this video helped a little bit. If you have any other questions, you are always more than welcome to email me. And we can work our way through some of these problems.